Guys, they said Minami was shocked over what Reverend Esther Ajayi told her concerning the reconciliation party that uh, only of your first sisters are planning. You know, according to Reverend Esther Ajayi, allegedly, they said she told Winami that the sisters to the king might have pure intention. They might have good uh, intention towards this uh, reunion. You know, because they want Quinami back. They want to make amends for their mistakes. We have heard how these people have dealt with Quinami, how they were the ones who exposed Quinami to someone like Iyala J and the rest of them that frustrated Quinami out of her matrimonial home. You know, but right now I believe that some of them, because I don't think it's all of them, because there's this particular one that they said have been ganging up with um, with uh, Olori Mariam recently to get a wife for KBSA and all of that. So, but I don't know. They said they are planning a reconciliation party for the Oluris, for their brother's wives. And uh, they want Queen Naomi back. I believe that the one that might be the, uh, that might be superheading this whole uh, idea will be the, the, uh, I don't know if it is the eldest one. They said there's a particular one of them that was sick some months ago. And the sickness have dealt with her seriously. For like three good months, she had she was sick. And they have, uh, they took her to many places. To Aladura churches, to a priest, to a lot of places just to get the solution to her problem. And there was no solution. The worst is that when they go to a uh, medical test, there will be no tangible reason for the sickness. But yet, she was going down by the day. So, as God may have it, they said one day, uh, she called Kabiesi very late at night. That, that day, Kabiesi was with Queen Naomi in Lake Mansion. And uh, she he, she told Kabiesi that she is going down by the day, that this thing is getting out of hand. That she should, that KBC should talk to Queen Naomi on her behalf uh, to see if Queen Naomi would pray for her. And they said Queen Naomi was there listening to everything. And after that day, the next day, Queen Naomi decided to go and pray for her. They said when Queen Naomi prayed for her, the next day she was, she started getting better. She started recovering small, small. She let her beg Queen Naomi again that she would need more of that prayers. That if possible, let Queen Naomi organize the prayer section for her. That she will appreciate it. And because Queen Naomi doesn't care uh, so much, uh, she's not a selfish human being. Because if she is self if she is a, she is a selfish human being, she will remember all that they did to her. And she might say no to their request. But she did not. They said what she did was to organize prayer team. They prayed and prayed and prayed for the lady. It was all night prayer, as we heard. And after that prayer, there was revelations. There was prophecy revealing that what is what happened to that lady was not ordinary. That it was something that they put for her, they kept for her in her cho- in her shop, and everything it was manipulated. And they said she even vomited something while Kwenami was praying for her. So after that prayer, they said with time she recovered fully. And ever since then, she has been looking for an opportunity to appreciate Queen Naomi or to say thank you for what she did. But Queen Naomi is nowhere to be found. Queen Naomi is always avoiding everyone. And nobody will blame her for that. Because they said, uh, when, when uh, 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 bees bite someone, whenever you see a very big house fly, you start running. So Queen Naomi is running for her life. She doesn't want to involve herself with anything that will have to do with the uh, sisters or the Oloris so that they will not see uh, opportunity to hurt her again. So, and they said this, this the, the lady in question, that is uh, Kabiesi's sister, have been trying to look for an opportunity to appreciate Queen Naomi. So, she believed that uh, it will be fine for her to organize a reunion party or reconciliation party uh, with the help of her sisters to bring back with Naomi and they reconcile her with these other Oloris, letting them know how important they need to live in peace 
for the sake of their brother and everything. So they said, Reverend Esther J, they, they must have, uh, you know, she's, she's also a prophet, a prophetess. They must have revealed to her the plans. And they said she called Quinami to let Quinami know that the sisters to the king might not have any bad intention towards this uh, reconciliation party. But the Oloris, because the thing is that they are not just trying to reconcile you with them. They want to reconcile you with the Oloris. They wanted peace to reign. But the Oloris in question, uh, did they want uh, peace? That is the question. They don't want peace. And they wouldn't mind coming to the reconciliation party with something bad. They used to come to the palace with uh, whatever they like. What do you think will happen? <laughs> so they said Reverend Esther Jai is telling Queen Naomi that, look, the party is not for you. Don't even go there. That reconciliation is not for you because the Oloris will prepare to meet you there and you don't know what they are preparing to come with. So for that reason, it will be better for you to be on your lane. Just find the excuse and give them that day to avoid the story that touches the heart. Anyways, the thing is that the sisters, uh, is it all of them? Because the last time, is it last week, we heard that one of them was uh, ganging up with uh, Igwe to bring a virgin for Kabiesi to marry. And we do know that the reason for that is to spite Queen Naomi. That is why I said that it might not be all of them all. Uh -huh. But that one might be pretending that uh, uh, she's in support of what they are doing. She wants Queen Naomi back and all of that. Whereas uh, she's very, very angry with Queen Naomi over the fact that Queen Naomi is not letting them carry Tadenikawo. Queen Naomi is not letting them come close. Anything that has to do with uh, Tade and the Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi is not letting them come close to them. So with that, I believe that she is still angry with Queen Naomi because of that. And the funny part of it is that whenever she tries to report to Kabiesi, Kabiesi will remind them how bad they have hurt Queen Naomi, that right now Queen Naomi needs time to heal. And they, on the other hand, should be consigned on how to build trust again because they have betrayed the trust that we now may have for them and all of that. So <laughs> well, they don't they, they are not getting their brother support. We now may, on the other side is not uh, giving them what they want. So uh, it's possible that she might decide to gang up with this other Oloris and want to carry it out on that reconciliation day. I don't know, but all I do know is that whatever they plan against Queen Naomi and Tadenika will go back to the sender. Thanks for watching. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always wear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video. Bye. I love you guys.